Hello everyone, today we'll be going over a 3051S Forester by Forest River. It's a 2021 20, model. I'll be going along explaining everything the best I can. If I miss anything, if you have questions about anything, you can always give us a call. First I'll start with your awning here. As you see, we ran this out until your flap is hanging straight down. That's when you know to stop. To adjust your pitch, you're just going to simply pull down. Just like so. And now our pitch is set. Um, and then when we're done, we're just going to go hit the retract button and the awning arms are going to fix themselves. So you won't have to push it up. It'll correct itself. Uh, your water heater here, a one inch socket for the plastic plug here, goes in right here. Uh, anytime you're going to be removing that plug, be sure to relieve the pressure out of your water heater. Um, and then your switches are going to be on the inside on the panel for that, for electric and LP. Outdoor TV. Very nice. Um, you see you got mud dauber strains on your furnace exhaust already, which is perfect. Uh, here we have your filtrate, water filtration system. Um, right now it is winterized, so you will have to dump this antifreeze out, drain it, and then put it back on when you're ready to fill up water. Uh, right here, this blue valve, this is our fresh water drain. The red line, there's a cap underneath the unit that's capped off, um, and that's going to be your low point for your hot side of the water. Kind of hard to see in here, but uh, right here is your valve for your winterized hose. You're just going to flip that hose so it's in line with this hose, and then you'll be able to suck your antifreeze out right here. Inside here, uh, this is your Firestone Ride Right, which is your airbag system. So if you were hauling anything um, to stiffen up your suspension, you're just going to put air to this. Um, 100 pounds max on that PSI. Did purchase this Super Saver kit, so that came with the toilet paper, toss-ins, wheel chocks, uh, hose, the 50-foot drinking hose, the regulator, uh, and then they give you a 30 to 110 adapter. And then your power cord's there. This here is a sensor, so if a vehicle is next to you, there will be a little emblem that's lit up on the, near the dash, which I'll show you when we get inside here. Um, right here we have your potable water fill. So as you're filling that, check that gauge inside, and then you'll be able to use your water pump to disperse the water. Uh, right here is where we're going to hook up for shore power. You do have a backup camera on this. Um, they do want you getting up on the roof every six months to inspect the lap sealant up there. Anywhere where they drilled into the roof, they apply lap sealant. Over time, that lap sealant will dry, it'll crack, it'll bubble, and that's what you're going to go up there and fix by uh, applying more lap sealant. You're only to use lap sealant on the, the roof. Uh, be aware of silicone on the exterior of the unit. Water is your enemy, so anywhere where you have silicone, you know, be aware of it. And always inspecting for cracks and gaps. And on the exterior here, we can just use regular silicone or a ProFlex. Um, lots of storage underneath here. Generators right here. Um, there is a stop and prime button on the inside of this, um, but also on the panel as well. You do have little cameras uh, for your blinkers when you put your blinkers on. So very nice unit here. Awesome paint job on this unit. Uh, right here, 
we have your LP quick or your LP it does have a gauge on it here with your fill. This is where you're gonna turn it on and off. Uh, right here is our panel. This is where we're gonna go for all of our tank gauges. Just gonna press one each one uh, individually. Battery, fresh tank, black tank, gray tank. Uh, you do have a stop and prime for your generator. Anytime you're gonna run that generator, make sure to prime it. So just press and hold for 10, 15 seconds, and then press start. If it doesn't start, try priming again, and then try starting again. Uh, water heater here, you're gonna have your electric and gas. Then also you have your water pump, and then uh, your tank heaters here. Um, here you have your slide out button in and out. And a driver's side rear light. So I believe there's an outside light there. Um, right here we have a couple switches. This one's gonna be our awning switch, and then this is gonna be our step light. Uh, battery disconnect here. So if you're not gonna be using the coach, uh, turn this battery to the off position. No power is gonna leave your battery or go into your battery. Um, so when you're ready to use, flip that on, and you'll, be, you'll have power. Uh, for your auto level, you're just gonna turn it on, and then hit auto level, and it'll do its thing. Once it's done and you're ready to leave, you can hit all retract. So, they make it pretty easy on you. You do have uh, solar panels on the roof that are working. Um, so it will tell you your battery voltage of your batteries. Uh, it'll show, tell you how many amps you're bringing in. And there's also a boost button to boost your charging. So, there is uh, more info on that on YouTube. So I would suggest, you know, watching some videos, lots of information on YouTube. Uh, stove here, you're just going to put this to high and then spark. You'll have your flame, microwave, pretty self-explanatory. This is pretty cool, you just set your phone here and it starts charging, if your phone is capable of that. Uh, this here is a little trash can spot. So you can actually access this uh, from a compartment door outside. Very nice. Bunk area with the big old TV. Radio, you'll be able to uh, Bluetooth to this, aux cord. Um, so radio. And then also you'll have your radio up front as well. Uh, fuse panel here. All your 110 stuff's here. All your Everything's labeled here. And then all your 12 volt stuff is here. Uh, I would suggest grabbing some fuses just to have for the coach. Just in case. Looks like you're going to have a lot of 15s and a couple 20s. Or 120. 220s. Oh, and then there's a couple 25s uh, up in there as well. So I would suggest grabbing a multi pack. Bathroom area with the motion light. Very nice. Make sure to uh, have always have your door uh, locked for travel. GFI is here. So if your outlets weren't working, come check this GFI. Very nice vanity setup. Bed area or bedroom area here. Uh, this light it has a. If you press it twice, it'll turn both lights on. If just once, just this top, I'm going to come on. So, here is our thermostat. So we're going to press it on. 
Um, right now it's on heat, but our temperature is set at 60. So if you want to turn this on, temperature needs to be above that. Um, so now that furnace is going to fire up. I have our auto heat. Um, also, if I wanted to switch to cool now, I'm just going to press this mode button to switch from cool to heat. And obviously, adjust your temperature there. You can also just set a timer and control which fan or if you want to run on the high or low or medium. Storage under the bed as well. You just lift up here. And the storage there. Lots of closet space, which is awesome. So you have a very nice unit here. Uh, right here underneath the fridge here, this is going to be our access to our water heater. There's going to be a couple valves on there. Right now it is winterized, so in the springtime you're just going to do opposite of what's there now. Fridge is 12 volt only. Um, so, it's your inverter, you know, it is switching over to... 12 volt or 110 into 12 volt if you're plugged in so and if you weren't going to be plugged in you're, you do have two house batteries which are located underneath the step here so you should last for a while and then also you have that solar panel up top too which is also going to help charge keep the unit charged so very nice unit like I said, if I missed anything, if you have any questions on anything, you can always give us a call and we'll be happy to help. That's for your fill, your fuel. Uh, and then also we have your sewer outlet connection here. So your city water is gonna be there. Here's your black tank flush. So you actually have a sprayer in your black tank that's spraying around, knocking things down. And then here we have our Sewer outlet, yeah. black tank with the black handle, gray tank with the gray handle, and a little outdoor shower set up here. So. And then also another fill for your airbag there. And that's where you're going to fill for gas or fuel. Beautiful unit. So, I believe that is it for my show through. Thank you guys.